I am in Newcastle and I'm joined by the wonderful Benjamin Francis Lethbridge. Take me to the dark There's a ship without a name then it's sailing to the middle of the sea. So Benjamin Francis Lethbridge, how are you doing? Good thanks. Good. Is that what you go by when uh, you introduce yourself? No. No, just, call me ben. just Ben, yeah. I was gonna do that but I didn't know how oh, that's all right. formal. All right. Tour, uh, yeah. How's yeah. it all going? So yeah, it's been great. We played um, Norwich and Leeds. Yeah. At Glasgow last night. Oh, we playing. Yeah, Glasgow. Glasgow got, was pretty fun last night. It's a good crowd. It was a good crowd. And, um, There'll be competition from Newcastle tonight. They're normally re quite rowdy. I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah. And we're playing at Birmingham tomorrow, then London, and uh, then we're doing Doctor Dot, which is Manchester, Nottingham, and Bristol. Sweet. So and we've got a little bit. Not a couple of festivals. I'm not. Yeah. So just one after the other. Do you just have one day in each city, or is it? Uh, we yeah, we stay in after the gig. We stay in the city that night, and then um, drive to the next city. So the you're next staying day. tonight in Newcastle. We are. Are you going to go out, hit the tune? You should join us for some troubles. For some troubles. <laughs> troubles. Yeah, troubles. Have you had trouble? What's that? Like three shots with a mixer, and in then you one get three, glass. yeah, in one glass, and you get three of them for five pounds. That sounds pretty good. It's, uh, it's absolutely mental. Uh, sometimes we do, yeah, yeah, but it depends on. Normally, the normally there's only a proper party planned in London, but yeah. the. Um, but now you're here. I'm so. in Newcastle, yeah. We should organise one. Get that. Get yeah, that. maybe. <laughs> I understand your passion for music has been going on forever since you were young. Has, yeah. Is that all you've ever want, wanted to do? Just be play music, be a musician? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I don't think. <laughs> I have a thing where I don't think people become musicians. I don't think I've never wanted to be a musician. Okay. You know, I am a musician, yeah. Um, yeah. and some, you know, some of the best musicians I know don't even play an instrument. Like producers, for example, yeah. I've worked with, have just got a really good ear for music. Yeah. And um, I think you know, I'm kind of whenever I hear that someone's you know become yeah. a musician, it just doesn't really make yeah. any sense. But there's something that's you know yeah. that you either have or you don't. And <coughs> of course, I'm practical things you can do to, you know, increase your skill set or work on things, but music is at its core a spiritual thing. Yeah, it's and, inherent. Yeah, and even yeah. If, you know, if someone who's never picked up a guitar before or sang before could be the best musician in the world and only discover that when they're, uh, you know, yeah. the day they die. Could you see yourself doing anything else, like, any <coughs> other profession? Like, I can't imagine you'd want to sit on a desk, mind or no. no. Um, I think, um... You didn't ever watch, like... I don't know, the office or something, or I, suits and want to become a lawyer. No, I don't think that's really for me, but no. I think working in music, I'd quite, you know, at some point I'd like to manage, yeah. maybe manage a band or set up my own label. But. People in the churches started seeing. Are you a family musical at all? Or um, are you the, the odd one out? My, um, my sister's into music, she can play a bit of guitar, and she's got a really good voice. Yeah. Um, my dad loved music, my mum really liked music. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, no one, you know, I think I'm definitely the best. You're, you're the best. <laughs> you're that. <laughs> I've got an atlas in my hands. Am I right in thinking you're half Australian? Yeah. I'm going to test how Australian you really are, okay? Okay. I've got a little game for you. So basically, they're just Australian phrases or words, and okay. you tell me what they are in plain English. <laughs> um, we'll start with a really easy one. Excuse my Australian accent. Okay, alright. Uh, Sheila? What's a Sheila? A woman, yeah. Well done. What's that? What's up, Matilda? A girl? No. It's an object. A Matilda? A Matilda. I've no idea. It's actually a sleeping bag. Is it? I don't know how that relates, but... Nice. Is. What's a shark biscuit? A shark biscuit. Yeah, mate. A shark biscuit. Sometimes I go South <laughs> African. I don't want it to be a... Um, sorry to offend any Australians. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know what a shark biscuit, shark biscuit. is. It's someone who's like a new surfer. So oh, obviously they're nice. not very good, so they're like food for sharks. Yeah. Uh, a tinny? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what does the phrase, who opened their lunch mean? It's like, oh, who opened their lunch? No idea. Who farted? Oh, nice. Apparently. Nice. And a click? No so you're like, oh, mate, it's only 10 clicks away. Oh, uh, kilometer? Yeah, way, there we go. <laughs> and I'm sure you know what a bush is. So, <laughs> what's a bush telly? <laughs> 
Or push what? Be like, yeah, let's watch the bush telly. Like telly TV. No idea. Campfire, apparently. Oh, nice. Campfire. Nice. Okay. So, I'm, I think you only actually got like one or two right there, but we won't oh, judge dear. you on that, okay? Those are the only things we share. You'd be there. Is it true you have a tattoo of an octopus on your thigh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Can we see it? No, you definitely can't. <laughs> Whereabouts <laughs> is it? Like bum thigh or like leg thigh? Uh, it's about oh, there. In the, oh my god, okay, it's quite like inappropriate yeah. to look at. Okay, um, would you be tempted to get, or do you have more? Do you have any other tattoos? Uh, yeah, but not that I can talk about. You can't talk about them, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, so, are you tempted to get more? Or yeah, I want to get more. Well, I got an elephant there, eh? So oh, okay. I want to get, cool. get loads, loads of different animals up my arm. Yeah. I like animals. Got a dog and a cat at home. Okay, sweet. I know a girl with a camel tattooed on her toe. That's, that's quite funny, isn't it? Like, you know, it's quite witty. Toe. Yeah, it's very witty. Because you take the two words and put them together. What do you get? Two yeah. words that normally wouldn't have any relevance. And once you put them together, but she's actually got a camel on her toe. It's, it's, it's quite funny. funny. I'd quite like to meet her. She yeah. sounds quite funny. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and find her. I All don't right. know if she's actually, I'll just pretend she's my friend. I've got a plan. I've got an atlas in my hand. What is your plan for the summer? Is it all festival after festival? Uh, yeah, okay. but <coughs> recording a lot. Last last two summers we've been doing like 20, 25 festivals a summer, but this summer I think we got, I think it's coming in around 10 maybe. Um, yeah. uh, we're doing like um, headlining some small ones and playing a couple of bigger ones and doing a yeah. real mix. It's really nice. I kind of feel, you know, this tour I'm on is pretty much the last tour that I'm going to do for a while to okay. promote my first album, which came out a couple yeah. of years ago. I've just been touring it non stop. Um, that must be weird for you, how, like, to you it's not really that new, the material, but to uh, quite a lot of people it's all like, oh my gosh, who's this guy? Like, totally, yeah. I feel really good and about like, it. You're like, gosh, this has been out forever. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but I like that because the album had a bit of a buzz when it came out, but didn't, yeah. you know, it wasn't um, a bit charted and stuff, but it wasn't a hit record, you yeah. know, which I like. And it was people are still discovering it for new, because we got quite a lot of syncs on, you know, yeah. on TV and film stuff. <laughs> Like, um, recording, well, not recording, but like songwriting on the road, don't you? Yeah, studio, yeah, yeah. I, I Do you write get inspiration, like, from when you travel from place to place. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I get inspiration from meeting new people and, and doing good things and bad things and <laughs> making mistakes and not yeah. making mistakes and meeting other musicians, listening to other music. Anything I think can inspire you. It's kind of how you. Yeah. So, you, when can we expect it. the next album then? Uh, next year. Next, any month in particular? No idea. No. <laughs> Over that place when the stars are the only things we share, will you be there? Right, um I mean I listen to music a lot, I really I really like it. Thank you have you such so a much. cool, calming, relaxing voice. Thank you. Um so I wanted to try this for you because I think that anything that you say, <coughs> if it was really alarming or scary, if you said it, it wouldn't be for some reason. <laughs> so Not sure about that. I've got some quite alarming statements or like something that could scare people. you want people. me to say? Well, I'll, could you sing them? Okay. Could this be your warm up? Okay. Um, so you were going to look straight into the camera and say, Mum, I'm sorry, I just got my girlfriend pregnant. So like when I say that, oh my God, that's scary, but I think you could well, really It's happened quite a lot take, to me before. So, it has a so you can relate to this. Yeah. Well, I, I can't do it probably. I've already got three kids. So. I've already got three kids. So. I will remember your face. I can't. I can't really do it because I've already got kids. Darn it. Okay. Well, it's been lovely talking to yeah, you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you very really much for doing it. this. Um, good luck with the show tonight. Thanks so much. I'll be there. Nice um, one. Nice to meet so you. Hope to see you soon. Yeah. God bless. Thank you.